bring me here? I should be asking you that question. How, how, how do you bring me here? Who are you? Eh? In the shadows I was lost Unaware of what the future will cost Caught up in a dangerous game Little did I know My heart will never be the same Innocence collided with mystery He had a past that whispered to me But like a moth drawn to the flame I couldn't resist when he called my name Falling in love with a criminal A danger felt so ethereal Though our love was forbidden I wish I could still <laughs> Clear. be you are our guy. Okay? It's been five years. It's been five long years. And this girl has moved on. She has kids now. And you're still holding on to past feelings. You're still holding on to old feelings. And you're punishing yourself, my guy. Well, as far as I'm concerned, your bed is tomorrow. And I'll make sure you go on a blind date. Yes. And this time, you don't have to change your opinion about her. Or probably back out like you normally do. Wait, wait. I should go on a blind date. Me, Clem, I should go on a blind date with a girl. I don't even know. Be. Be scared. <laughs> yeah, Me. Yeah. Yes, now. Be scared of a woman. Me, Clem. But <laughs> we're not asking you to do anything with her. You know. This is just a date. Like, you guys go out, have fun, take her out, chill. I know, like, what's so difficult to do in that? It's not that it's difficult. I'm just, I didn't just like the idea. That's just it. Oga, this is, you are going. <laughs> you are going for that date. You because I've, go. I've booked for the, t the table, table 47, and I, and I strategically arranged the date with love. You cannot allow my money to waste. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and also, her name is C. Yeah. But she forgot to tell you her name when you guys meet. You are serious, though. They play. <laughs> <laughs> of course. They were on that. I go shock with that, normally. I beg, eh? Shock us. In fact, shock us. I go do more than intended. I go do more than black. See, when this talk, I would not bring with a drink. My man! I'm nah, with you. This boy you must love this year. <laughs> My four babes, huh? I don't see this making any sense. Uh, what? <sighs> this guy expects us to go on a blind date and he doesn't even have a display picture. I mean, he has even refused to send one to me. You, Uncle, have you sent to him? Hmm? I mean, this date is in a public place. Why not go? Eh? I will only have a problem with him if he invites you to his house. Uh -uh. It's weird. Babes, but you know that this is not my style now. Hey! Uh, she is you now that said you don't want to date people that you know. Now a stranger is asking you out on a date. You do not want to go. Her people soap now. And you used to love adventure. Eh? Explore! Come on! It's just a blind date! Eh? If you don't want to have anything to do with him, you can still not have anything to do with him. Eh? Just go and have fun, Joe. I beg. But you know I've uh -uh. never done this before, eh? Ah, it's a risk, yo. Hey! <laughs> that one day something they start. <laughs> she that's tomorrow, Abby. <laughs> so, yes. now tomorrow. Yes. Eh? Hey. That means we have the whole of tomorrow to search for the perfect dress. <laughs> You didn't just say the whole of tomorrow. Uh -uh. It's not even a real date. Regardless, we are going shopping. <laughs> shopping on who? On you now. He must be joking. Let me define boyfriend. This is <laughs>
how do I look? Ah, you look beautiful. Ah, ah. Hey, hey. May this be your last date as a single girl. In Jesus' name. Am I supposed to say amen to that? What kind of stupid prayer is that? I don't understand. Don't worry. When you come back, you understand. <laughs> Sing <Singena. laughs> so Do I have to go? Yes, you have to. Oh yeah. You're such a cute joy. I know. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, has he made the table reservations? Yes, table thirty-seven. Good. Now look at me. Remember to smile. Okay. It's just a blind date. It's not a full there. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma. You're back. Hello, Claire Mafa. Uh, what's the table number again? Um, table 47. What? what? Yeah, table 47. What's up? Are you nervous? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I mean, it's not just a girl. I mean, I got this. I mean, it's not a job interview. I can't do this. All right. By the time I'm done, you said you could believe me. You clear all your doubts. All right. No, 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 no. I wish you all the best, man. No go for my hand for them. Oh yeah, now this Taji. All right, bye. No money, bro. All right, <clears throat> bye. Clara, what are you even doing here? Eh? Maybe this blind date is not working. I'm tired though. Maybe I should just go. I mean, this guy will walk in here and I'll not even know that he's the one. This was a waste of my time. This date is clearly not working. I can't be sitting down here waiting for Mr. Invincible. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> but Clem, truthfully, you're nervous. I am very, very nervous right now. <sighs> Mom, it's just a girl now. No. Why do I need to impress this girl? That's the first time I'm meeting her. I mean, my fashion is already giving a statement, Abby. So, why do I need to do much? Ah. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Clement doing out. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Ah, come on, Clement. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Try something else. Try something else. I just need to listen more, bar. Listen more, talk less. Look into her eyes. Listen more, talk less. Look into her eyes. I mean, that's a hack, yeah? That's a cheat code. I got this one, I got this.
already. Wow. If this is my date, then he's definitely worth the wait. Hmm. Clara, you don't catch big fish. I'm sorry, traffic. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> That was a good start, Clem. Well done. Hi, my name is Clara. Clara Davis. Oh, my name is Clem Donald. A Clem for Clement? Yeah, Clem for Clement, yes. Hmm. And you guys would say women shorten their names to make it sound sexy. I guess guys are topping the charts now. I mean, Clem or Clement, they both sound sexy to me. You can call me, you can call me the wrong one anyway. Something already. Are you that hungry? Excuse me. I was going to say the same for you. Any yeah, other days? I don't have to say that. Oh, this is a complimentary starter to welcome you to the house before you order your meal. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Thank you. It's good. Let's dig in. Yeah, we should. It's nice too. <laughs> it does. Okay, how old are you? I'm a realtor. You? Uh, I'm an architectural engineer. Oh. So you build houses? Yeah, I do. <laughs> She's rude. <laughs> Plan, yeah, this is your little plan of taking advantage of me. So tell me how much do you intend on, on collecting after all this? Eh? How much? Because this thing looks like a blackmail to me. Me? Blackmail you? Oh, well, your face is already black enough as it is. I don't even need to do much. I told Gift that you don't want to go on these days. I told her, but she will not listen. Now see, I mean, in fact, I give you way too much credit. Because clearly, you're not even man enough to be with a woman like me. Oh, is that why the waiter did not bring any food to my table all the while I was waiting for you? So you paid him to bring complimentary starters laced with God knows what to get me here? I think I can say that about you. Because all like other ladies, they come a little bit late for the dinner. But you, you came very early so they can hatch up this little plan of yours. But do you know what? Read my lips. I am not funny for it. I am not funny for it. Nice one. You're trying to turn the table on me, right? You're trying to make me the beauty one. In fact, why would I even want to be in bed with someone as nasty as you? You mean nasty? Nasty, yes? Yeah? When you were rubbing your head all over my chest, did you remember I was nasty, Abby? Ha! What chest? I will never ever do that in my right chest. God forbid. It's your dry chest. You're calling my chest dry. Eh? Thank God you said it yourself. I mean, and for that push you gave to me, guess what? You're going to get it back. I will not spare you. I told them, I told them, I told them this was a bad idea. It was a very bad idea. Listen, let me warn you. If any of this thing get out, if any word about this get out there, I swear to God. Wait, shut up! Shut up! You that could not get a girl to lay on bed in bed with you, you have to pull this stunt to give the impression that you're a man. And instead of apologizing for your weakness, you're here trying to use my head. Ah, oh, I see. I don't blame you. I actually don't. I blame myself for stooping so low to your level. Can you imagine? Weak men everywhere, with all this fine face and fine body and fine what, what, what. You cannot even beg a woman to be with you. You can't even be polite. You have to pull these stones. I mean, if you had asked me, I'm not that difficult now. I would have been considerate. Rubbish. You even pushed me to cover your weakness. Nonsense. Thank you. 
Who builds a house without a door? No, 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 no exit. Who does that? What the hell? Did you steal that one too? Hey, listen. Ah! What's your plan? Where are we? Like, who sent you? What is your plan? Who sent you? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Like, you say, are you high on cheap drugs? You think I'm one of those helpless street girls you can intimidate? I mean, how dare you touch me? So who I am? Who are you? Who do you think you are? To pin me to the wall? Oh, what were you expecting? I would cry and beg you for help? Where is my bag? I need to leave because this madness is no longer funny. Oh, you want to leave? Oh, yeah, go now. Go. I want to follow you. Leave. Meaning? Leave now. You want to go, Abby? What does that even mean? Where is my bag? I'm not leaving here without my bag. Maybe you can ask the guy that brought me here. The guy that helped you bring me here. You mean your men? Which men? They're not my men. They are your men. Is this a joke? <laughs> of course it's a joke. I'm laughing. Where the exit doors? Oh, if I knew where the exit was, you think I'll be bringing the same air with you right now? What are you saying? No, 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 no. This does not make any sense. Alright, you know what? You know what? What's your plan? Alright? What's your plan? Tell me. Like, what, what's going on? Alright, alright. How much? Four. Listen, people kidnap people every day and ask for ransom. Alright, so just tell me how much you want and let's get out of this place already. Kidnap? No, tell me, why would I want to kidnap someone like you? I mean, you look rich, yeah, but you build houses for a living. So tell me, why would I waste my precious time to kidnap someone like you? Please, do not provoke me any further. Please. So, 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 if you don't know what's going on, What's going on here? Because I, no, I have no idea right now. Oh, now you expect me to believe that. Listen, you can believe anything you want. All I want to do is get out of this place. What? This can't even be possible. Is this a joke? There's no window or door anywhere. Clara, what have you gotten yourself into? Is anybody there? Somebody save me! I think I've been kidnapped! Please help me! Somebody save me! Stop shouting! Or have you lost it completely? What's wrong with you? Stop shouting! Oh, I see. You're scared of being caught, right? I will shout and I will call for help. Help! Save me! Somebody help me, please! Save me! If you have any breath left here, you will stop irritating me right now. I swear you will stop. I will shout and I will scream if that is what it takes to set me free. Who put you up to this? Ola and Jude, Abby? They are behind this. They are behind this. Ola and Jude. Is this a person, animal, place or thing? Just answer the goddamn question. Jude, I want to live here and I do not have time for your Q's and A. I mean, why would I even know who Ola and Jude are? Do you think that I live in Anjegula to know such names? I just want to get out of here, so stop. Where do you think you're going to? So if it's not Ola and Jude, who set up the gate between us? What are you talking about? Nobody fixed any date. We both agreed on this date and you picked the day at the table. Hell no. Ola and Jude set up everything. All I had to do was show up at the restaurant, that's all. Are you kidding me? You and I chatted. And you booked the table. You booked table 37. Table what? <laughs> yes, me. Yes, yes ma'am. Me scared of a woman. Me claim. But <laughs> we're not asking you to do anything with her. You know. This is just a date. Like, you guys go out, have fun, take her out, chill. I know, like, what's so difficult to do in that? It's not that it's difficult. I'm just, 
I didn't just like the idea. That's just it. Oga, this is you are going. <laughs> you are going for that date you because I have go. I booked for the t- the table table forty seven, and I and I strategically arranged the date with love. I still booked table forty seven, not thirty seven. No. Ah, you look beautiful. May this be your last date as a single girl, in Jesus' name! Am I supposed to say amen to that? What kind of stupid prayer is that? I don't understand. Don't worry. When you come back, you understand. <laughs> Sing <Singena. laughs> so Do I have to go? Yes, you have to. Oh yeah! You're such a cute joy. I know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, has he made the table reservations? Yes, table 37. Good. Now look at me. Remember to smile. Okay? It was 37, not 47. I mean, typical of every woman to reuse everything like you reduce your age. 37, 40. Come on now, a whole 10. Guy, I said it was table 37, not 47. What is so hard in that? You know what? I've never seen you, I've never spoken to you up until tonight. My friend booked table 47. <laughs> Not only Sissy, it's Kiki. Wait, hold up. Let me get this thing straight. You're not from Judanola. Did I put Pitakola in my mouth the first time I said it? Wait. Are you not MC123 from the Dating and Marry WhatsApp group? Dating and Marry what? Me? I'm, I'm, am I mad? Then who, who are, are you? you? So if I get this correctly, we are each other's wrong date, yeah? So it seems. But well, my question is, what were you doing in table 47 when you were supposed to be in table 37? Are you okay? I was clearly at the right table. But being a typical man that you are, you mistook a beautiful lady sitting alone for table 47. <laughs> Wait, which beautiful lady are we talking about here? Are you blind? Do you need yeast and cod liver or is your retina paining you? No, I just wanted to confirm that you're not referring to yourself as a beautiful lady. Because that would be overrated and it's not healthy for you. You're clearly jealous. <laughs> Me? Jealous? That's a waste of my jealousy. He, 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 he. Funny. <laughs> but wait a minute, wait a minute. Who wears a black dress to a dinner date? It's a dinner date. Not a funeral. Look at this one. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Thank God for good home training because you don't want to know what this my mouth would have said to you. <laughs> I mean, if it helps you detox the system, knock yourself out. So what were you doing on table 47 when you were supposed to be on table 37? Hmm? If you claim you do not know what is happening here, and I don't, there has to be a third party involved. Someone brought us here. Oh, wow. This is the first reasonable thing you're saying since we got here. And my company is beginning to influence you positively. I'm happy for you. Hello? Is someone there? Because if this is a joke, we're not laughing anymore. Hello? I don't know who you are or what you want from us, but your actions here clearly shows exactly how cowards in my village behave. I mean, if you want something from us, come out and face us one to one. And let's do this thing woman to man. What makes you feel this thing is a man's doing? Only a woman can do something this stupid. Really? Women always face their problems and their battles. Men are the ones that are known to keep covering things up with lies upon lies upon lies. I mean, Lack of courage is what you guys are known for. And there's a reason why you guys are called the weaker vessel. I mean... Clearly, if we are the weaker vessel, since you are strong, do something about it. You guys usually argue that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Do better. But clearly, now we are in this situation. Get us out of here. I mean, clearly, we did not disappear here. There must be a pigeon hole somewhere. Duh. Somehow. Are you not the one that build houses for a living?
What are you looking for? Pigeonhole. Sweet this guy rich, so that she she's the guy go out. Eh? When he him? Her life is even switched off. But where will she offer phone? Eh? And she knows that we'll be worried. What if her line is switched off and we are battery dead? She will find some her call me now. She will call me. Are you kidding me? I know you're starving. Do you want some? <clears throat> I mean, we only had starters and I ended up with you. Eating anything in this house might just get me straight to the grave. Mm, get my nothing down right now, no matter. Did you just call me a dead person? It's a figure of speech. What figure of speech is that? Can I just eat this bread in peace? I did not eat anything if I came for this usually dinner. <laughs> it is me that is unfortunate. Because I ended up with someone that cannot even count. I mean, I wonder how 37 and 47 got to look alike. In your... What are you even doing here? Eh? Maybe this blind date is not working. I'm tired though. Maybe I should just go. I mean, this guy will walk in here and I will not even know that he's the one. This was a waste of my time. This date is clearly not working. I can't be sitting down here waiting for Mr. Invincible. Are you leaving already? Wow. If this is my date, then he's definitely worth the wait. Hmm, Clara, you don't catch big fish. That was a good start, Clem. Well done. Hi, my name is Clara. Clara Davis. Um, my name is Clem Donald. I Clem for Clement. Yeah, Clem for Clement, yes. 
Mm. And you guys would say women shorten their names to make it sound sexy. I guess guys are topping the charts now. I mean, Clem or Clem, they both sound sexy to me. You can call me, you can call me the long one anyway. Something already, I'm either hungry. Excuse me, I was going to say the same for you. Let me order this. I think I was at the Oh, this is a complimentary starter to welcome you to the house before you order your meal. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Thank you. It looks good. Let's begin. What? Your name is Clement Donalds, right? Yeah. I'm Clara Davis. So you claim? Turn that fire you dare. Which one is so I claim? That is my name and in fact it's even bothering me right now that we're sharing the same initials. Look, something is not right here. There's something you're not telling me, obviously. Because how would a man that is clearly so tense be comfortably eating the food that his captors left behind? Look, I'm a realist, okay? Look around you. Do you see any point of escaping? Oh, none yet. Good. So I will allow hunger to keep me first before my captors come. What's the time? See? What's the time? Dear gods of our land, all knowing one, please, your daughter is here to ask you a question. Ask the question. The gods of the land are here. Are you mad? Because if you're not mad, how you be asking that kind of question? Do I look like a deity to you? Please, I'm already stressed. Don't add it to my stress, please. You're the one that is stressing yourself. Because if you did not know the time, you could have just clearly said so. Instead of evoking the gods and the ancestors of your land, which I'm sure has clearly abandoned you. Why would they abandon me? Why? Have you seen yourself? You look like one of those people that used to steal the foods from the shrine. And now that you've robbed them, they've decided to rob you of your peace and your freedom. What I don't understand is how I'm added to this equation. Yeah, they brought you in to keep an eye on me. I mean, they had to bring one of their kind. Are you calling me your ancestor? Yeah, it's not by chance. I'm calling you my ancestors. I mean, this explains why you're wearing a black dress to a dinner date. You're just giving me left, right, back and front. When I start, you better don't complain, no, because my comeback will be mad, Clem. Yeah, come back. You have not seen the way out of here. You want to come back. Come back, my ass. Have you gone mad or something? If you want to run mad, it's fine. Just do it on your own. Don't drag me into it. Let's <laughs> ah, have peace. Well, have peace. annoying my captors all, but my stomach is not going to let me have peace of mind. I'm hungry. I mean, if Clem is not dead yet or vanished, I'm sure I can eat what he eats. Nobody knows what my fate here is anyways. <sighs> what? No, he did not. Did he eat all the bread? What is it again? Where is the bread in the fridge? The one you ate from? The one I ate from or the one I ate? <laughs> I refuse to believe that you finished it. I said no more because I finished it. Why? Why are you so greedy? Why would you finish something that you know is meant for the both of us? For the both of us? How do you know the bread was for the both of us? Eh? If I remember clearly, you were afraid of eating that bread for the fear of disappearing. Oh, 
Now you're sure nothing is going to happen to you. You're not here showing me entitlement. Look here. No, you look here. If you want to eat something, go to the kitchen and make something to eat. You're a woman, be creative. Oh, so I should go and poison myself in that kitchen, right? Knowing fully whether that was the only safe food we had, you ate it all. I offered you some, you rejected it. That's not my fault. Well, I don't blame you. Clearly, your mother did not train you. How dare you speak to me about my mother? How dare you? Who do you think you are? Look, ever since you got to this house, you've been talking nonsense! But never in your full life, in your, life, your full life, speak to me about my mother again! But, uh... but what? Shut up! Shut up! Everything is not about you! You've been, you've been creating attention to yourself ever since! Let me warn you, it's so unfortunate that we have been locked up in this house together, but for the remaining time, avoid me! Avoid me! Now, get out! What? Get out! Now! I mean, what did I say that is wrong? Eh? If she had trained him right, would I need to be reminding him that he needs training? <sighs> I don't blame him, Sha. If only this my tummy had respected itself, would I waste my time talking to somebody like him? <sighs> I'm hungry, oh. Last, last, let me go and look for something to eat. Last, last, a man will die once in his lifetime. <sighs> in this kitchen for me to eat.
know what's happening here? If you want us dead, kill us already or let us go. Do you know what just happened to her now? She nearly died. Look, listen, I don't know who you are, but if anything happens to her, I'm not going to spare you. I'm not going to spare you. Let us go already. Let us go already. Ah! Clara. Clara. Hey, hey, hey. Why did you leave the room? Eh? Careful, careful, careful. Are you fine? Yeah, I'm fine. Come I just needed sit. something to drink. Let's sit down there. Are you sure you're fine? Yes, I am. Well, you know you're a smarty. Why did you go find something? I forgot. You? You forgot? <laughs> Who forgets that you're asthmatic? It's like forgetting to breathe. You shouted at me. What did you expect me to do? I'm so sorry. Okay, I I blew things out of proportion. I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have dragged your mother into our petty argument. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What is it about your mom that got you so upset?
time. Your reaction each time I bring her up gives me the impression that there is more. Why do you want to know? It's my personal life. It's none of your business. I mean, you saved me. You go into my personal space. So it's only normal that I know what is bothering you. I did what I had to do out of humanity. And humanitically speaking, I want to know. <laughs> humanitically speaking, where did you get that off from? At least it made you laugh. <sighs> yeah, you said you were hungry. Can I make you something to eat? Normal food or... Or what? I mean... <laughs> You know I'm such afraid of this place. I don't want to eat something that will make me and you vanish. I will eat it together so we can appear in the same place. <laughs> I guess the demon you know is better than the angel you don't know. It's a figure of speech. What figure of speech is that? <laughs> Why are you calling me demon? It's fine. Fine. It's alright. Do you need any help? I uh, know, don't worry, I can handle this. Are you sure? Yes, I'll just get undressed. Okay. Uh, I'll come to think of it, yeah? We have fire. Why can't you just set this place on fire? I mean, the guys will not want this place to burn down, right? Good idea. And they will run to save the place and then we can escape, right? Yeah, exactly, something like that. And if they refuse to save the place, then we'd have turned ourselves into Suya. Oh, I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> Our case would definitely be that one man in the village that the community wanted to set ablaze. And he went ahead to rub oil all over his body. Yeah. <laughs> so that he'd be able to roast well. But then shredding. At least you can have some more sense. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> This is not bad. Your mom did a good job. Clem! Clem! You can't escape your problems by avoiding it. She's your mother. Don't waste no my mother. She can never be my mother. Don't call her my mother. Why? Don't call her my mother. She's a disgrace to motherhood. She can never be my mother. Never. Okay, 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 calm down. Calm down, please. She's not here. It's just me. I'm sorry, okay? But you have to tell me why you think she's not worth it. Clem. Clara, Clara, Clem. you're pissing me off right now. You're pissing me off. Clem, you have no right to speak ill of the woman who gave you life. I mean, she's your mother. She carried you for nine months and nurtured you. She should be reverent. And murdered. And murdered. You know what this woman did to me? You don't know. Clem, I don't understand. She abandoned me. She abandoned me in the hospital with my father and left with another man. She abandoned me because I had a hole in the heart. She said she cannot take care of, 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 of a child that was going to die any moment. She said, I slowed down her life. Can you even understand what that means? She's your mother, right? She's my mother. Clem. <sighs> Clem. You had a hole in your heart. Yes, I... I was born with it. One of those occasions, my mom took me to the hospital. The doctor said I was not responding to treatment. She looked at me and told me that I was wasting her life. She needed her life back. I gave her panic attacks. She couldn't. She couldn't bear it anymore. Her, she abandoned me. So? She left. 
first, the first man I came into her life. She abandoned me and my father and, and, and left with the man. But my father told me that I was not going to die. So he he took on a lot of jobs, worked himself out. He even found me a donor. At the point where I was treated and, and I, I, could, I could I could stand again, I could I was back on my feet. At the point when I needed him the most, I lost him. Why? Because of the stress of everything he went through to get me back on my feet. I lost him. Now when I see mothers taking care of their children, I, I, I feel like an orphan. Have you tried to reach out to her again? I did. I did, I did a couple of times. That was before I got treated. She wanted me to stay out of her life. When I lost my father, I told myself I was not going to reach out to her anymore. Wow. I thought that motherhood brought out a side, an emotional side to you, especially when it is your child. Not, not this woman. Not this woman. Anyways, it's her loss. How do you mean? Because she's never going to get the opportunity to see who you are today. And I'm sure she's regretting it now. Clem, there's no need for you to be sad. You need to be happy. Because I'm sure your dad is so proud and happy wherever he is, knowing fully well that his sacrifices were not in vain. All that is left for you to do now is find the right woman. You know, have grandkids for your dad and tell, him, tell them all the amazing stories and how your dad was such a nice man. You say settle down like it's easy. I've tried. All the good women, they are, they are taking their marriage or they are in a serious relationship. Love, love has never worked for me. I've never been, I've never been lucky with love. I stayed away from relationships for the past five years now. <laughs> Did you just say five years? Yeah. And so how have you been like, you know, you know what I mean. What? <laughs> I mean, how have you been cleaning your plaything? Because I'm sure any woman that comes close to you right now is straight pregnancy. And I'm also sure that the first three children are going to be dwarfs because, I mean, that thing is all kicked up. How? <laughs> how? How do you? How do you come up with all these things? <laughs> hmm? You have a nice smile. You too. You have a pretty smile too. <laughs> come on. Let's go and eat before our food gets cold. Okay? Right. <clears> Hi. <throat> After you. <laughs> come on. So tell me, how do you know so much about asthma? I mean, you know someone that has suffered from it before. Well, yes, my ex had this very chronic type. I had to be very careful around her. I don't have to learn new method on how to help her an attack happen. I have carried an extra inhaler on me, just for her, because she's the careless type, just like you. <laughs> I'm not careless. I had mine in my handbag and those idiots took it away from me. I want to be some kind of weirdos. What do you mean? I mean, we are here in the middle of nowhere. We have food. We don't even know what our captors are thinking. We are here chatting and just saying that we are some kind of vacation. You are a realist, right? Uh -huh. We're already here, so we have to make the best of it. Something just makes me feel like we're being watched. I don't know. Watched? Yeah. You know, I, I can't even guess who is behind all of this. I have no idea. I don't know too. We need to find a way out of this place. The funniest part, I don't even know if it's night or morning. My friends will be so worried. Me too. 
I'm gift too. I'm sure she's panicking right now. We have to find a way out of this place. We do. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Clara Davis and Clement Donald. You happen to be this year's winners of Meat and Bud Gift. Who are you and what are you talking about? First of all, I want to apologize for all that you went through in that place without asking. My name is Miss Ella and I own Restaurant Exotic, which is known for its yearly matching of lovers and then relationships kind of we are known for our yearly games which we do we bring people allow them to bond either as friends or as lovers you know this is a game we do we put people in a place for 12 to 15 hours we do this to foster relationships between them these two strangers are kept in a space where they are together they don't know each other they are expected to become either friends or lovers too. 
most times they do this out of um, mutual interest or out of the fear that they just want to leave that out. So I don't really know. But whatever happens, the most important thing is that there's a friendship that is fostered. Continue. Okay, so this year, when we saw that we had two blind dates, we decided, yes, this is a perfect idea. So we had to write 47 on this side and 37 on this side. That is how we picked the two of you. You are not the only ones. You were not the only ones. The other people that you were supposed to meet with, we equally picked them up and put you into that space that made you think that your lives were in danger. Even the other couple, they couldn't even stand each other. They nearly killed themselves. So we had to take them out on time. And that's why you became the winner. So once again, congratulations. Is this a joke? I mean, you gambled with my life without my permission. And you sit here to say congratulations. Like, I had an asthmatic attack in the house. If not for Clemmy, I would have died. Listen, even when you had the attack, we were standing by to help you. There's no way we would allow you to die. But he was up to it. So we let it slide. Hold on, you let it slide? We have to sit here and listen to what you're saying. Are you even hearing yourself? You let it slide. I'm going to sue you. I will sue you. I will sue your company. I will sue everybody. You know what? There's no escaping this. You're hearing from my lawyers. You won the cash prize of 30 million naira. And an all expense paid one month free to Paris for a full month. All expense paid. And that's if you are going as a couple. Come again. You won a cash prize of 30 million naira. 50 million when you split it each. And a trip to Paris. All expense paid for one full month. That is if you're going as a couple. Is this a bribe? Because I don't take bribes. I mean, my big job was me of saying sorry for the inconvenience. It still doesn't mean that what they did to us was right. True. <sighs> it's just that air is too human. I say forgive you, divine. Oh, thanks for understanding. You are entitled to dine at the restaurant for free once every month as a couple for a year. So tell me. How do you make your money back? Because this sounds like charity. Well, uh, we will use the clips of everything that happened in the room. We use it as uh, materials for our research and our teaching. You know, to foster love and unity. Teaching, telling people that there is still love. And if only we can allow ourselves to get to know each other well. We do not expect anything in return. So decide, take your 15 million naira each and travel, or go your separate ways. You are not expected to end up as lovers. You are just expected to remain friends that you are. You understand? Just show people that it is possible to coexist when you get to know each other very well. But if you want to take the relationship to the other level, well, kudos and congratulations in advance. It is good. <laughs> We are here. So? So, can I get your number? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Thank you. I'll call you. Call you too. Alright. Thank you. You're welcome.
Wow. This is the most scary news I have ever heard. Hey, I'm a baby. Thank God, though. Because for a moment, I thought you've been kidnapped. Then I know that you do not like to live without trace. Hey? Babes. Babes. I swear, like I thought we were going to die. Ah, just me. Thank God for the arguments we were having in the house. Eh? Because I forgot that we were in captivity. I'm almost tempted to say that it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, so what's the plan? Hmm? Hmm. Will you follow him to Paris or this is where the journey ends? I mean, if he asks me nicely, why not? Paris is not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it's not good to judge a book by its cover. I told you. Because this guy is nice. This guy is so nice, like... <sighs> Dateable? Of course. You see? <laughs> Your blind date has opened doors for you. But I pray he feels the same way for you. I mean, I pray so too. Because... You know, babes, I'm tired. <laughs> but you still look fine though. Please. Are you sure you are kidnapped? <laughs> My guy! So when we go collect our own share now? Share? Ah. We're the ones who set up the date, so we should get something out of it now. No, bro, listen. I mean, the money is not the most important part. It's important to but making Clara. Is, is the main thing, bro. To get. Meaning? Bro, Clara is different. Do you understand? She's, she's my kind of woman. Do you understand? A woman that doesn't want to be pitied. She's strong. She's fierce. She's intelligent. Hard on the outside, but soft on the inside. To get? You mean like a coconut? But wait. Have you fallen for her? Come on, bro. That's too quick to say. It's too quick. I'm just appreciating her qualities. That's it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Qualities. Mm. Mm. qualities. By the powers vested in me, as the matchmaker of this relationship, I can authoritatively say that you are fallen. Mm -hmm. 
it's, it's, you, know, you cannot say that, bro, at all. You cannot say that. <laughs> but um, honestly speaking, yeah, I'm really happy for you, my friend. Like, at least for this very short period, you've met her, you've fallen for her like this. Trust me, man. I think she's a real deal. And I must say that I'm very proud of all the work that we have put in. Because without us, this relationship would not be alive. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we the online in Los Angeles, oh, chef of the relax. beneficial habits. You are like, you just relax, chill. Oh, God, do transfer, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> offline in Los should also benefit from it. I mean, <laughs> Stunning. It all was bad as well. <laughs> so we meet again. It's about time, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Come stand up on that. You need to specifically. No, thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. We're not trying to vanish again. I mean, if we want something, we'll order for it. Okay, for who to catapult out of this <laughs> place again? <laughs> <laughs> no, only start out. It's end of year. <laughs> <laughs> I still have to plan. Are you coming with me to Paris? Are you asking me to? Let's see if I'm not asking too much. Should I? I mean, I will do anything you ask. You know, I hardly know you, but I think one month is enough to get to know you. So, is that a yes? Do you need an idiot card? <laughs> In the shadows, I was lost Unaware of what the future will cost Caught up in a dangerous game Little did I know My heart will never be the same Innocence collided with mystery He had a past that whispered to me But like a moth drawn to the flame I couldn't resist when he called my name Falling in love with a criminal A danger felt so ethereal Though our love was forbidden I wish I could still be in love But my heart is unforgiven I wish I could still be in love Unforgiven. Behind those eyes, a thousand secrets concealed. But I was blind to the darkness he revealed. His touch, like bittersweet addiction. Each moment spent with him, a wild contradiction. 